Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going to code signal. So uh, if you go to www.codesignal.com, uh, you can set up an account. It's pretty easy. You can even use your Gmail or your Facebook account to sign in. But I'm going to use it to show you some practice exercises with Python. So I'm going to use this arcade section. Um, and it's a really good way to practice uh, what you're learning. So if you've only gone through like some basic tutorials on Python, it's good to kind of check that you know what you're doing and just get some repetition so you can really learn, uh, you know, do, by doing over and over again to do a for loop or while loop or, you know, do a list comprehension, things like that. So if you missed it, uh, I'll just go back for a second. So I went to the arcade. I'm going to go through this Python section here. So I'm going to start with number one here. So they're saying after we run this code, they just want to know what the value of res here is, res. So what is this going to evaluate to uh, at the end? So let's go through this. Um, so you see here, they're assigning to the variable xs. Uh, they're inside of a list, they're putting a tuple here. So these tuples, or the parentheses will give you a tuple. Also sets look like that, but if you just do parentheses, uh, it'll give you a tuple by default. And then the brackets around here will give you a list. And then to the variable res, they're assigning false times two. So what that's going to do, let's just open uh, a Python console here. So let's just do res equals I'll do false times 2. So when you multiply a list by a number, you're going to get that inside of that list, you're going to get the values multiplied by that. So you're going to get two uh, falses here. So if I just type in res, see what we got. So we got false and false. So if you did three, you'd have three falses inside of the list. Etc. So now this is a bit weird if you haven't seen this. Uh, so it's going if xs. So in this case, if xs is empty, then it'll evaluate as false. Otherwise, it'll evaluate as true. Now, if we look at this, inside of the list we have this tuple, so it's not empty, so it evaluates as true. So then this statement is going to evaluate. And it's going to put uh, the first thing in res as true. So we saw here that in res right now it would be false false. So once this is evaluated it's going to be true false because res 0 is the first element in this list. And then it's going to look at this second part. So if xs zero, so it's looking at the first item in this list, which is this tuple. And since inside of the tuple it is empty, this is going to evaluate as false. So this is not going to be uh, executed. So we're going to be left with true false. So this is going to be it. If we submit that, we'll see that that is correct. Alright, so hopefully you guys were able to follow my logic and you join me for videos in the future. Thank you very much.